Welcome to May. This is your general reading that will cover the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the best part of the month, the biggest challenge, and then guidance and give you your crystal of the month that'll help you get through it um, as unscathed and as easy as possible, okay? It'll help you with all the things that you need. So um, this is for your sun sign. Career videos are gonna look like this and they'll come out soon. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you know when they come out. They are for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you um, why that is if you're not sure and then love videos come out halfway through the month and this is what they're gonna look like okay so let's get started if you're interested in what decks i'm using for this reading i've got the cosmic tribe tarot looks like this and then the angel prayers oracle by kyle gray um if you purchase them through the affiliate links down below i might get a couple cents which would be helpful in me continuing to make these videos because youtube pays you like I don't know, $20 a year. <laughs> um, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I would appreciate that if you're interested in buying a deck. And so, Taurus, your general theme for the month of May is moving in the direction of your dreams. You know, it's manifesting things at hyperspeed, which is awesome because a lot of signs are not having an awesome month. I mean, they're not having a horrible month, but they're not like, flying in the direction of their dreams as quick as you. I feel like Virgo had similar energy, so yay for earth signs, but not everybody had that. So yay, off to a good start. The beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. In the beginning of the month, if you're watching this now, you're like, what the fuck is she talking about? I'm not feeling anything. Like, I might even be sad, but it's kind of a case of the blahs because I don't have a lot of options and choices out there. A lot of my autonomy is taken away, maybe with quarantine or whatever. That might be what you're thinking. So you're like, how could this be the case? But things are going to change as the month goes on, okay? So what they're saying here is make sure that you're open to the gifts that the universe wants to give you, um, to like love and care that people want to provide to you. Make sure you're open to receive because some of you are only slightly open to receive the gifts from the universe that kind of like help you to move in the direction that you want towards your true happiness to achieve all the goals that you have for your life. Um, whether you are trying to get pregnant, whether you want to build your own business, whether you want to like just quit working and, you know, be a socialite, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is that you desire for your life, like you can have it. But you have to be open to receiving the gifts that are the baby steps on the way to that path, okay? So that's the middle of the month. And then when you get to the end of the month, then it's all like, yes, love it. If you're open to receive, if you identify what those things are and you focus on it. Um, it's a lot of joy. It's a lot of contentment. It's a lot of self-satisfaction, feeling good about yourself and putting yourself first. So the best part of the month for you is that feeling that you'll have at the end of the month you know, should even if you're only slightly open, you know, um, you guys are going to have some good, good stuff go down at the end of the month. The biggest challenge for you is opening up bigger, further, taking advantage of opportunities and um, kindness of others, you know, what other people offer you, noticing the signs. So the guidance for you, Taurus, this month is remember, and I feel like um, a lot of signs have actually had this that there's unconditional love around you, the, your spirit guides, angels, God, whatever, like it's there, okay? And so all you have to do is think about what you need help with. Help me to be more open to receive. Help me to notice the signs. You don't even have to say it out loud, although you can. But if you even just think it, your, your spirit team steps in to help you with that. And like it helps you to feel better and to you know move in the direction of your dreams. So that's fantastic. Um, your crystal of the month is a citrine cluster, not just regular citrine, but a cluster in specific this month. Um, and so maybe because of the way that that amplifies energies in multiple directions, that will be important for you if you have multiple things that you want for your life, right? Um, this right here is going to explain to you, you know, use and care. How do you cleanse it, recharge it? What does it do? Because um, I don't want to go deep into it for those of you who don't give a fuck about crystals. Um, but you can find that on my website. There's a link in the description box below. And when I say cluster, I just want to show you the difference quick. Okay. Sometimes you'll see citrine um, polished and I didn't have one of those like right under my desk, but um, this would be like a raw citrine, like stone, you know, a point. Do you see how it's got a point on it? 
but this is more what I'm talking about a cluster how there's like many little points so like this one is probably lab created because it's darker um which it would be like an amethyst that they just like put in an autoclave or something they heat treat it um and then this is a more and this would be like a natural one where um it's just got many points and so the way the energy disperses off of a citrine cluster is different than a focused point like this would direct energy in a certain direction whereas this would kind of throw it all over the place and this so this would be what you want to use if you if you only have one if you only have this fine use it right it's better than not using it um but the cluster is ideal for taurus i love you so much and see you next month <music>